Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. If anything resonates with you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you get alerts when my videos are posted. Okay, Gemini, we got a King of Cups out here. Okay, so three of swords at the bottom. Um, King of Cups, a guide, a wise person, um, a teacher, a mentor, a counselor. Um, this could be re regression of deep feelings, feeling detached. So this could be somebody that could be self-medicating, drinking, drugging. Um, being very uh, emotional and holding it in. So somebody trying to look like they are not feeling some type of way, but deep down inside, heavily burdened because um, you got a ten of wands out here, and something is being called a judgment called a judgment being called a judgment called being called for some reason. So. Ten of Wands is like uh, heavy burdens. And I don't know why. It's like um, feeling weighed down. Somebody got a judgment call on them, probably for this reason. A Three of Swords. So, that's um, heartbreak, betrayal, loneliness, and hurt. A period of difficulty and hardship. So, somebody's going through something right now, and they're trying to put on a brave face, but they're actually inside kind of fucked up. Um, this could be confusion, upset, people meddling in your business, basically. That could be a thing that's bothering and um, basically toxic ass behavior is what this is coming up, okay? Clearly, toxic ass behavior. Um, either way, a judgment called being called on you, Gemini. Okay, so Ten of Cups, and then you have the Sun. So, da da da. Let's get one more card. I'll get two cards came out. Okay, so being emotional about a Ten of Cups, a family situation. Um. Uh -uh. This is totally giving me like somebody not knowing how to deal with their emotions because emotional fulfillment, security, a full balanced life, completion. So that's two completions because tens are ten, ten. Um, God, divine. That's why you have the judgment here. Um, having everything. So somebody had everything that they were emotional about. And everything could be whatever for a full balanced life, like family, love, um, a sense of belonging. So, like appreciating the gifts, or somebody not appreciating a gift or something. Um, Appreciating all the gifts that life has given you. So somebody's feeling very emotional about that. 
Um, and then you have the 10 over here. Let's see, what is this? Ten ten. Because everything is important, just so you know. If I have not told y'all, everything is important. So, a spiritual awakening, um, consciousness, divine harmony, and enlightenment. Your spiritual journey has begun with a crisis. Okay, so... Uh-uh, uh-uh, where did it go? So that's why you would have burdens here, because it began with a crisis that triggers a questioning of life's meaning and the inner search for the truth. So, heavily burdened, and then you got the sun, but Gemini... On the list, when God, what did God gave Gemini? God gave Gemini, because this is saying your search for inner truth, the questions. Okay, let me go back, because I just literally did this also. Everything is important. God gave Gemini. Okay, I give, God, this is what God gave Gemini. I give the questions without the answers. So it's like you're always seeking, always wanting to know something. Um, Gemini are uh, like intellect and communication. So always questioning. I give the questions without the answers so that you may bring to all an understanding of what people see around them. You will never know why people speak or listen but in your quest for the answers you will find my gift of knowledge so asking the questions and then i also said that's got to be kind of almost fucked up because it's like asking but not knowing the questions it's like bringing the bring i mean not knowing the answer bringing the question but not knowing the answer as to why certain things are what they are so I give the questions without the answers so that you may bring to all the understanding of what people see around them. You will never know why people speak or listen, but in your quest for the answer, you will find my gift of knowledge. So you will learn even along the pathway while asking. Um, so like, uh, like finding yourself even in the process is what that's giving me. Um, the sun is a yes card um happiness um like birth of a child positive energy light energy power growth this is giving me and I, the reason why this is with this is because somebody is like um able to carry it so that's what the power is you're able to carry whatever this burden is that you're dealing with um vitality optimism So realizing the things that you have around you. Um, sometimes we are not living in a moment, and it's 828 right now. Um, what does that mean? Because I just saw that. saying establishing balance and harmony in your life so angels trying to communicate with you okay so the number eight symbolizes karma so somebody's dealing with karma right now the law of giving and receiving and a universal spiritual law of cause and effect. So something that you did is causing this or something that you didn't do could, is causing this because 
and I don't know why this is relevant, but sometimes no answer is actually an answer. Um, and then it's saying, um, it is also symbolizes manifesting abundant self-confidence, success, achievements, self-reliability. So depending on upon yourself, um, realism, being real with yourself, dependability, discernment, judgment, philanthropy, and business endeavors. So cause and effect um, on any of those levels. And then two symbolizes relationships, teamwork, partnerships, duality, diplomacy, meditation, serving others caution faith trust balance harmony peace stability compassion selflessness love compromise cooperation kindness happiness and encouragement it also symbolizes going through to serve your soul's purpose and mission in life and i don't know why i'm getting somebody just got in a car accident and hit from the side from the passenger side like literally i saw it and felt it it's weird um So it says, what does it mean when you see 828? If you ever come across the number 828, that means you are being called to be an intermediate intermediary between a party and are needing to help them settle their differences. It is also It also means you need to make compromises in the near future and it will help you to provide the best outcome. Um, this number is meant to teach you about the importance of trusting others and putting confidence in yourself to succeed. It also is a reminder that you should release any negativity you are holding on to. Um, Okay, I don't know what this is, but this is in here too, and it's kind of weird. But um, it's saying that 828 angel number on manifest. And it's saying the NB NBC show manifest focuses on the passengers and a crew of the flight that went missing after five years. The number 828 has appeared throughout the show, such as the flight number. In the pilot episode, the number 828 also appears in the Bible verse that is on the pillow that belongs to Michaela. One of the main characters in the show. Later, a voice tells her to rescue kidnapped girls and request that a bus, which is stamped with the number 8 and 2, drive slower to avoid a child in the street. Later, we see that the address where the kidnapped girls were held included the number 828. Okay, so I don't know, but literally I saw, like, mind's eye, and I felt it, and then there's that there. So I don't know what that means, but um, either way... 828 is a significant look it up because it could mean something different to you everything i'm noticing uh, means something somebody juggling a situation and it did say that maybe you might be the need to be the um what do you the 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 the, the voice of discernment that's what i'm getting from it um the voice of not discernment the voice of reason okay so somebody's being getting a judgment called on them so we got um this could either be gossip people gossiping about your business or this could be teamwork um a team but something about money here um four of pentacles saving your money um reconnecting with the world so somebody could have moved away um hoarding which is not a positive flow of money that the universe needs when you're manifesting so this is not good for that um huh. watching your expenses um trying to accumulate w uh, wealth living comfortable um this could also be living outside of your means because this person is outside of this um the city so moving away or living outside of your means either way somebody got a judgment call on them for ooh, i don't know something pertaining to money because of the fact that both of these cards pertain to money so um the three of pentacles teamwork collaboration 
um, collaborating with others for big results, taking big risks. Okay, so something y'all did put y'all in judgment. Something your team or people that you were around, y'all were trying to gain something and it's putting you in judgment. Um, this team is under judgment. And I just posted something online about people being under judgment for multiple things, okay? And I'm just going to say it right now because everything is important. People are not realizing this is a weird time right now. Um, judgment. Somebody, Divine, trying to give you a second chance. A second chance to make something good. So this could also be a new phase. And I don't know why, but I want to just look in this book real quick because this book, I ended up grabbing it and bringing it because everything is important and also gaining a fresh, fresh perspective on some of these things because Judgment is 98. It was important. And I'm trying to take my time with everybody's reading right now because I haven't given everybody one and... That was because people are cross-watching, and I wasn't allowed to, and now I am, okay? Um, so, judgment is a card of awakening, of becoming aware, of becoming aware of a higher purpose or a calling which inspires you. There is an inner conviction, a sense of something you have to do, especially if it is difficult or challenging or in your current circumstances. The angel blowing the trumpet, which features in many depictions of the card, is the summons which calls us to a higher consciousness. So an ascension, an elevation, becoming better than what it was you were there. Um, this call is within us, a kind of yearning which bubbles up and demands attention and also experience it as something outside of ourselves coming from a force much greater and more mysterious than ourselves. The judgment card symbolizes rising up out of the restrictions of self-doubt and the expectations of others, bringing a kind rebirth, the opening up of new sense of self-judgment, new sense of self. Judgment can show you that your true vocation or purpose in life, asking you to listen for what makes your soul sing and then find a way to follow the path. It can be challenging, but potential rewards are great. For some reason, I'm getting somebody is switching sides. So they were working on the dark side. And now they're asking God. They're literally trying to go to God now about a situation. But you were working on the dark side already. Look, an illusion. So somebody was delusional thinking that maybe they could get whatever it was they can get from the dark side. From, from and I don't want to say the devil because even the devil mad I keep trying to tell y'all right now the devil's even mad at shit that people are doing but conjuring up and summoning, summoning demons that mean nobody no good so somebody working on the good side on the bad side now they're calling on God because they got slammed on a net is what I'm get, getting um, and underneath of that is five of swords which is a fight a battle where everybody loses. So, literally, somebody was getting fucked up. And I think how it resonates for you. Um, but now they're going to God about it. So, or what happened made them go to God. They realized, oh shit, there's a higher power and what I was doing ain't right. So, um, it can be challenging, but potential rewards are great. This card can also indicate a more literal kind of judgment perhaps a time of evaluating your life and making some necessary changes or releasing the guilt or sorrow we carry from the past so that we can move forward often we judge ourselves much more harshly than we judge others so this card as much as is about forgiving ourselves as it is about forgiving others Okay, and so this is also giving me um, somebody else, Leo's reading, was talking about court. So this is also giving me court, somebody being judged. Um, so somebody could have just recently got arrested or somebody's dealing with somebody that was arrested. But there's an illusion behind this being created. So something is not 
true in this situation. Um, it's almost, again, like um, I had, I think it's Aquarius reading, um, dealing with light and dark. So we have the Page of Wands and we have the Two of Wands. And then at the bottom, we have the Seven of Cups. Too many people, places, I mean, too many people are, are options in a situation. Um, so now at this point, somebody is trying to look outside of their situation. Um, it's something that's young. Excited about love and life, following your um, heart's desires, a travel card, being passionate, um, experiencing life for what it is, and trying to figure out your purpose. So somebody's trying to figure out their purpose because what they want is the Ten of Cups. Something that's emotional, this is like totally conflicting, this whole entire damn reading. Um, con uh, contemplation, access assessing your life's direction and move, moving beyond old boundaries so somebody was on like i said the darker side of things and now i don't know why it's giving me like because this is a wonderful thing ten of cups feel, like trying to get to that is what it's seeming like but this person is emotional and something happened to bring them to a higher consciousness I'm getting some type of betrayal. So I don't know if it was from you, Gemini, or from the person or from a group of people because we do have groups of people out here. But some type of betrayal now is trying, somebody's trying to adjust their, and why do y'all have cards coming out in conversations? And just so y'all know, um, I did this already beforehand, but normally I don't take them when it comes out because everybody else is reading. I was putting them back because it's like somebody trying to hijack the reading to get all their information that they want out in, at one time. So we got an empress and we got a king of wands out here. So empress might be trying to get to a king of, uh, uh, king of wands or king of wands could be trying to get to an empress or it, this could just be pertaining the sun, which was a yes, a marriage between a king of wands and an empress. But this is actually off balance. Um, but it says yes, so maybe this person is working, and that might be why the heavily burden. And this is giving me there's a couple somewhere around here. So, an empress is like birth, harvest, growth, a child. A child could be a, a actual physical child, or it could be a business, like um, bringing something to fruition. Um, it's about abundance and nurturing like people. So this is a very nurturing person. And then you have a king, uh, I mean, a, yeah, a king out here, king of wands, uh, taking charge, delegating, good at influencing others, focused on making things the way that they want them. Um, but something heavily burdened behind it, which again, is kind of conflicting. I don't get it. But then we have the magician out here, and that could be the reason why somebody's trying to put magic on the situation. Or this could be a person who has all the skills to get the job done and completed. So this is somebody on a pathway. Somebody trying to change a situation. Why am I getting somebody trying to bring something in reverse? You got judgment called on you, but it's like, oh, okay. So here we go. Hidden, things being hidden, magician. So this is beforehand. This happened, this happened, and this ha then this happened. So somebody got judgment called on them when they had all of this. How the hell did you fuck this up? By trying to control a king of wands taking charge and trying to make things the way they wanted. They wasn't focused on the growth and the everything that they had. That king of wands drunk, intoxicated. I mean, the uh, king of cups being emotional, not paying attention. 
because there's no way you get this, this, and then that. Unless you're not paying attention, you wasn't focused. Because this is happiness. This seems like it's about to be some dumb shit. So let's see where we going. But it's almost like, like I said, trying to rewind. Like, oh shit, I fucked up. Let me go back to that. Let me see if I can figure that out. And what I'm seeing, tower. So somebody got a real judgment, a takedown, and I said that already because I was feeling it. Somebody got taken down. Challenges, fighting, standing your ground, having to argue about some shit because it's too many people's voices and opinions in a situation. And a person wasn't following their own, maybe their intuition or something. But now somebody's trying to get back to the same exact scenario. And there could be somebody out here right now that's just living this happy everything, the fullness. So in somebody else's life, it could have been this way. But the cards came out this way. But all I keep getting is somebody wanting to go to this. Marriage, celebrations, happiness, um... So Gemini. So right now, I have a celebrity page that I do, and it grew really fast. And Kodak Black is one of the people that I, um, for some reason, now have been drawn to. Kodak Black is a Gemini. And the other day, I filmed Kodak Black, and he was showing, but you can hear that there was somebody else there with him. And then at the end of the video, it cuts off. You see a female's toes with black nail polish on it. So the magician was because creating a situation that looks one way, but actually something else is happening. Somebody working or trying to get to this, but somebody already had this. They got a judgment call on them for it. So... I don't know if that's relevant to anybody, but and these cards keep wanting to come out. This card is here again. Um, again. So some third party shit happening. I don't know if he's hiding that person from somebody or is just hiding it from the world because you know everything ain't for everybody. It's not your business. But why give the glimpse if you don't want anybody knowing? I don't know why that card was made clear a death or ending to a situation or a circumstance um why do the filming of it as if you're i don't know it was weird anyway but kodak black is a gemini okay and um kodak black is giving me uh two different types of energy so definitely a true gemini oh okay so, I don't know why I'm getting evil twin, evil, good twin, evil twin. So, two sides. Okay, something was out of alignment, out of balance. Equal give and take is here. So, I don't know if that's needing to... Okay, so, acknowledging your... Uh, having a healthy balance of money. Uh, he healthy, so, the love of money is... A sin. So having an unhealthy love for money would be a sin. But equal give and take creates a balance. Um, so a situation either needs to come into balance or was... Okay, it needs to come into balance. So it was out of balance. All right, so... But um, I was saying Kodak Black is giving me two different types of energy. So that's what it is. Like a uh, good twin, bad twin. Um, so the angel and the devil on your shoulder. So you have a person that has an angel and a devil on their shoulder. And sometimes they're acting out of bad behavior um, because they're listening to the darker, the darker side of themselves. 
Look, here we go. And here it goes again. This is what's trying to come out. The death. Somebody was being offered something, or somebody's now being offered something. Um, divine is saying, here, I'm trying to give you this, but the person is definitely not focused on it. Don't give a damn about it. They're focused on what they're looking at. But divine is trying to say, I have something over here different for you if you just look over here. So this is basically a person that is um, not interested in anything. Like, um, feeling stuck, bored, discontent, very much not happy. And this is why they're drinking and doing drugs and um, self-medicating. Um, not liking what's being offered. So then there was a death, an ending. Or somebody's dealing with a death. So this could be a physical, spiritual, or mental death. So somebody could actually be in some type of a dark night of the soul right now happening. And um, not knowing how to get out of it. Then we have a knight of swords. So a person that is committed to the truth. Focused, driven, ambitious, action-oriented, on a mission, driven to succeed, fast-thinking. Um... Somebody that's being assertive. Somebody that's being assertive at getting what they want. Um, this is a mistake. So some something came to an end and now a person is doing something like rash is what I think is the word. Like not thinking about it, just going. Um, just being fast at it. So And then right here, look at the bottom. The devil. The devil's in the details. Always read the fine print. Um, being tied to a situation. So more addictions, more drug use, more. And this is why I'm saying it's giving me heavy. Somebody's under the influence and not paying attention. Um, and I'm hearing detox. A person needs to detox because this is going to end up bad. Like literally if. Because you have God trying to give you something. He's trying to tell you something. So if you're already... Because it, it could end up good. But it's based off of a detox. Like, you have good stuff here, but you're not paying attention. You're not listening. But still trying to move forward, even though you see things the way they're happening. So, which is weird, because why would a person do that? This is one thing that I keep saying about people... Um, So, um, people move too fast like this, and if you are not, like, so not being in the mix is what I want to say. So, if you're not in the mix, you see the doors open and you see the doors close by the universe. So, if you move a little slower, the universe is actually telling you stuff. Um, but most people don't see the signs because they're moving too fast, and this is what this is somebody's trying to move fast they're obsessed with a situation and that's why the devil's here the devil is obsession um somebody's focused on something that they shouldn't be focused on that's why you have this here um this is also the devil is about giving away your power so when you make decisions fast and you move without intent like or with bad intent because your intentions can be good or bad um when this death hit because these are things that cannot be controlled these things these are things that are um divinely orchestrated so when god takes you down there's nothing that a person could do to put you back until the door is back open and i told the story i think to leo or aquarius that I went through a takedown one time and they'll see somebody's in the middle of a takedown but they're not paying attention they're obsessed and focused on the wrong thing when God is saying look here right here I'm trying to give you a way but what you're doing is get ready to create a worse something for you I don't know because again 
take it how it resonates for you but the devil's always in the details and um Yeah, okay. So, I'm getting heavy um, alcohol, and it could be you or a person that you're dealing with, Gemini, and I keep seeing that tower with that tower. And look, again. So, all this is giving me is spiritual, mental, physical. Somebody's about to be put to a death. And that's because of something that they're doing because God, the judgment was already called but yet a person is still being adamant about the obsession, they're obsessed about something um, okay, keep going look, then this wants to come out like literally, this would listen I don't know what y'all are doing, Gemini, and like I said, um, I don't know why I'm getting Kodak Black still because I see him and maybe this don't, I mean, I don't think it has nothing to do with him, but at the end of the day, this is just because the Geminis that I know, I tend to want to stay out of their energy because... Yeah, I said it before, and last the last Gemini reading just smelled weird. And it was like, and like right now I'm having no smells behind y'all reading. So, but the last Gemini reading, look, and this, this, these are like, this is the energy. But the last Gemini reading really smelled and it was weird. Like, I didn't know where that was coming from, but some type of demonic something behind it. And so this is my first time doing another Gemini reading since that reading and this is what I'm getting. Somebody is not paying attention. Somebody's not paying attention to what God is trying to say. They're just trying to push forward and th make things their way. And so somebody's dealing with heavy karma, even though they're just not paying attention. Y'all are dealing with heavy ass karma right now. I don't get it. Because it's like somebody's just not paying attention. You're just not paying attention to what's happening. A judgment was called. A tower and a death is on the... And it's there again. Like, what is the problem? Okay, so maybe that might be what they're telling me. An ending. Somebody juggle something. This is the second time this card has been here too. So that might be them telling me that this is the end. Because literally I keep seeing this card. See what I'm saying? It's fucked up. It's like a lot of illusions being created behind, like, I don't know. Y'all are just getting these cards. Illusions. Like, what is up with y'all? Karma. Like, no. Something's off about it. Like, somebody's under judgment. There's people gossiping about the situation. Um, this don't seem right. It almost seems like a person had everything they ever wanted and they let it slip through their hands. And now they're being judged. But they're still not paying attention because God is saying, I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to do this, and all they're trying to do is this. This card's here again. Some more, like, rushing in, doing more shit. Not thinking about it, not focused on what God is saying, you're getting a judgment called on you. So, Gemini, this is your reading. Let's see. No, they said stop. This is a stop. So a hard stop. Okay. Um, somebody's in bad health. Like their health is because this is here. So otherwise, something about your health is concerning. So Gemini, this is your reading. And at least it's better than the last one because it didn't stink. But y'all got something happening. And I don't know what it is. Y'all take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Don't try to put your shoe and your feet in shoes that don't fit for you. Because these things seem to be coming out very specific. And I don't know why. Like, 
but something is up with you, you Gemini cycle right now. Everybody, um, and just so y'all know, everybody's under karma. Whether or not you're, it's good karma or bad karma, everybody's under karma. The time right now is just weird, so I'm gonna just say that. And um, everything is a test. So I'm trying to tell everybody right now, everything is a test. Everything that we're all going through right now is a test. God is watching. So, and I mean watching closely, because if you see what I see and you're plugged into spirituality and just the, everything that's happening, you see that everybody's business is being exposed. People are being exposed. The world is being exposed. So pay attention because everything is a test. You're being judged. Everybody's being judged. Not just one person, not just five people. The world is literally under judgment right now. Take it how it resonates for you. Don't kill the messenger. Go with God. <laughs>